Okay, I've been asked how the uh, P-trap works on the air conditioner evaporating coil. Uh, the issue here is, if you look at that uh, fitting up there, that's under a negative pressure. And it's going to pull air into it. When it pulls air into it, then uh, it tends to keep the condensate inside. And essentially, it just splashes it around in there. So let's take a look at uh, what kind of pressures we've got in this thing. Now, I've got a manometer hooked up to this thing. And you can see we've got a negative pressure of about 0 0.208, 207 water column. So that's enough that it's going to suck air back in. So what we do is we put a P-trap in there that has liquid in the bottom so that it can't pull the liquid up and hold the water inside the coil, which essentially what it does is just splash around in there and usually end up going into the return air and makes kind of a mess. Okay, here you can see the air pulling back into uh, that fitting. So it's actually pulling the water out back in there and it's not letting it go out through the drain. So let's look at how the uh, P-trap can be put together. This is what I call my ideal P-trap. Now, we just looked over the negative pressure that was involved uh, where the condensate drain is. So we can't run it that way without a P-trap because the P-trap is going to uh, have enough weight in the water that's in the trap. Now this trap here is going to have water up to right about here on either side. And that water is heavy enough that it will not pull air in like this. So you hook this up to the condensate drain. I put a T on here because I like a T. I like things I can fix later without tearing them to pieces. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do this. This way I've set it up with a threaded fitting here. I can pull this threaded fitting in and I can clean out that way. Uh, sometimes the P-trap itself gets plugged and this doesn't work as well that way. You can put this up vertically and do it that way. But uh, you could also uh, use a vacuum cleaner on these things. If I put a vacuum cleaner right there, it would tend to clean most of it out. Maybe not get all of it. But uh, I want something for a, a clean out if I can get away with it. Do not leave this open. There's no, you don't have a P-trap then. It just start running out of this thing. So uh, that's a P-trap on the... Uh, air conditioner evaporator. Pretty simple. I want at least two inches of water in this trap. And it, you can see there I've got more, but that's, that's fine. I hope this helps in designing these P-traps. If you don't put a P-trap in, a lot of times you'll get water on the floor. Or if it's a rooftop unit, it'll actually dump water down the ductwork. So they are important because it's going to suck that condensate back in and throw it everywhere. Okay, enough on that.